Oops, it. Hello, crazy dog. So in my previous video, I mentioned I got a dog and this video is all about, so this video is all about my new dog. Her story is she was found lost in Globe, Arizona by a shelter there and then a rescue group in Phoenix area rescued her and brought her into the city and put her up for adoption. She's around one year old and she was found with a fresh spade scar by the shelter. So they just assume that someone lost her because she'd already been spayed and maybe she just got lost. Nobody came to claim her. The shelter that found her lost called her number three because that's the room that she was in, the third room. And then the rescue group that got her started calling her Blakely for about a week or so. The rescue group that got her is called Love of Dogs. They took such good care of her, fostering her until she found a home. And I'll put their link in the video description below. And then we adopted her, my boyfriend and I, and we named her Kona. So she is kind of confused about her name. She doesn't know it yet, but we keep reinforcing it. And we decided to call her Kona because Kona is an awesome place in Hawaii. And I do drink a lot of Kona blend coffee, which is dark like her. So I think she just looks like a Kona. I've wanted a dog of my own for a long time. I've grown up around dogs. I've grown up around dog shows. My dad show dogs and we even had a litter at the house. I've grown up around my family's dogs and their litters so to not have a dog feels very weird to me and I've gone a long time without one and I've just needed to wait for the right time and the right living situation and work situation. The breeders that I were looking at were around like 800 to a thousand and then the adoptions were between forty dollars and four hundred dollars so it is a big price difference it's not ultimately what helped my decision there's nothing wrong with having pure breeds and there's nothing wrong with adopting but for my decision i felt like the puppies from the litters that were purebred were already going to a good home anyone that's paying a thousand dollars or up is going to a good home and i kind of wanted to give a better chance to a dog by adopting them from from a rescue group or, you know, giving better odds to a dog from a shelter. I found Kona's listing online. Her description was happy-go-lucky and very sweet girl. When we picked her up at her foster home, she was with a bunch of other little dogs and she's very social. She loves other dogs and she loves people. Her adoption listing said that she's a shepherd mix. And then I did some more research online and. I just think she looks a lot like an Australian Kelpie, very much like an Australian Kelpie. Kelpies recently got recognized in the US as a breed, even though they're in the US and they are very much a breed outside of the US as well. So it kind of makes sense that places don't name the breed that because it's still not very familiar. Regardless of her breed, I still love her and I still want to keep her. It's just if she is a Kelpie, then she might have a lot more energy Kelpies are known to ride the backs of sheep in farms and they like to herd and they have endless amounts of energy. <laughs> she's already been displaying a lot of energy and she's always looking for something to do. We've had her for two weeks so far and uh, she is sweet and gentle but she does have a side of she'll like nip your hands or your wrists or ankles when you're playing with her. She does still have a lot of puppy nature about her and she has these spikes of energy where she just like wants to run around and play non-stop then it crashes and then she's like Ugh, I'm exhausted for the most part she's been pretty good inside it's only been two weeks so I understand that she's having an adjustment period and I don't expect her to be the perfect dog yet she is adjusting to being potty trained she does get a lot of walks she loves running she's a very fast runner to cookie. Oh, burpee. The stuffed octopus that I got her that I showed in my last video, she loves that. There isn't really a toy that she doesn't love. I got her this thing and I'm just kind of looking for more toys that are mentally stimulating and with this thing I can just put something inside of it and it keeps her busy for a while. I just slice up some banana and put it in the freezer and it's a nice cool treat because it does get pretty hot here. I have taught her to sit and stay before I put her meal down so that she doesn't jump on me while I have food in my hand. She's really well behaved in that area but sometimes she tests me and <laughs> 
she doesn't sit when I tell her to sit or she just looks at me like she knows that I'm asking her to do something and she's not doing it because she's testing me. I do want to teach her how to do other things and some other tricks, so uh, there might be obedience training in her future or some type of training. She was a little bit skinny when we got her. It wasn't too bad, but she did gain three pounds in the first week we had her. I learn a little bit more about her personality every day, and she is just a sweet dog and I love her. Some of you are probably wondering, am I going to do some videos with her or DIYs? And the answer is, of course. I already have something planned, so you can look forward to her being in more of my videos. If you have any dogs, I'd love to know about your dogs in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this video, and I will see you next time.